to my channel. If you have not subscribed, please do so, please. If you like shopping hauls, if you like my basket hauls, how to do, how to make videos, all of that. Also, if you also make these type of videos, let me know. Let me know if you've subscribed. Let me know. Um, yeah, let me know to watch your videos. So, I just made a, um, a video making my Minnie Mouse themed Easter basket. Technically, it's not an Easter basket. It's one of my character themed baskets that'll be on my website. So, I'm trying to, you know, create an easier experience for my customers to already have options on the website so that they don't need to always contact me for, you know, everything. So, just to make it easier, I have a Minnie Mouse basket that will be on the website. Um, Mickey Mouse, I have um, Spider-Man, a PJ Masks, and Paw Patrol, and also Barbie, and also Disney Princess. So, now that that's out the way, um, my mind just went blank. I hope my mom does not call my phone because she's, we're going to see a car today because my car has been smoking and I, I, I'm not driving it anymore. Okay. I am. I, I'm not, I had to pull over and let the freaking car, it wasn't running hot though, but it was smoking. I don't know. We put antifreeze in it and it, it, it was still smoking. I don't know. I'm not driving it anymore. So, but anyway, I just hope she doesn't call me when she's outside and in, interrupts my video. But so yeah, just did this video. If you guys want to see me make this basket, go back and watch. I don't know if I'm going to post this video first or that one. Who knows? But if you're watching this video now, more than likely, this video of me making this basket is already up. Okay. <laughs> so, but right now, I'm going to make a traditional Easter basket. So, I have the traditional coloring books. This one has stickers in the inside. And I have a bigger one, have a bigger one, has mazes, and just the regular traditional Easter bunny stuff. And it has Easter glasses that you can cut out on the back. So this is a square basket, so usually with the round Easter baskets, I can easily curve the coloring books in the back, like, you know, like that, but this is a square. So what I'm gonna do is probably just use one coloring, one of the smaller coloring books and just stick it in the back after I put the paper confetti. And I like all of my baskets to match and coordinate. Where are my scissors? Saw some pink scissors in the store yesterday. I had to get them. How can you pass up pink scissors in the store? I needed some more anyway, though. I got tired of using the key it scissors. So I figured I figured I'd step my game up and buy some pink adult scissors. So since the basket is pastel and neutral, I'm using just this, this is not white, this is like off-white, and I think that it, it's pretty, it's giving Easter vibes. Nothing too bright. Gotta have the, the light Easter pastel colors, so. This stuff is everywhere. Okay, so as I always say, I like my paper confetti sticking out and over and kind of like flowing over the basket a little bit. Not a lot, because I don't like it to look messy. I don't like my baskets to look messy. My baskets are like organized chaos. Organized chaos, not just chaos. Okay, I feel like I'm rambling, but that's okay. All right, so I have my glue gun ready and I'm going to use this one because it matches the best with the bucket. And I'm just going to, I always start with the bigger items in the back of the basket. I always put the, um, the coloring books in the back of the basket and then I'll use a dab of glue with the hot glue gun to keep it in place. Hold it for about 10 seconds. It dries pretty fast. All right, so 
Oh, look at this. Look at this big bunny. A half a pound Easter bunny. I don't know if I'm going to use this one or the Rice Krispie Treats. I should have moved this Mickey Mouse basket out of the way. I have this Rice Krispie Treat bunny. I don't think this needs two Rice Krispies. I don't think this needs two chocolate bunnies. Which one looks better? I don't know. This is too bright. This is more neutral. I'm going to use this one. And I stuff it. Push the newspaper down just a little bit. So what I'll do is glue the chocolate bunny onto the corner of the coloring book so it can stay. And if I can, I'm also going to glue the bunny on the side of the bucket right here as well. As I always say, I like my baskets to show up presentable as, as I make them. I don't want the, the kid getting the raggedy Easter basket that wasn't properly put together or because their mom or dad picked up the basket, but it got messed up in the car, right? So I always use a dab of hot glue on the items, especially the main items that are displaying in the back like this. Why isn't this? Hmm, anyway. All right, so what else I have? These lip pops, they're lollipops, but let me show you guys. They're like pacifiers, but they're lollipops and it makes you look like a bunny. Can you guys see that? I'll do a close up of that after, you know, at the end of the video, I'll do a close up. All right, so should I put this in the front? I'll put this in the front. I'll put that in the front. I'm also going to put some chocolate carrots in here, which I thought was adorable and I actually may Put the big carrot in here as well. Okay, what else? All right, also the bubblegum eggs. I used to love these. If you're a 90s kid or an 80s kid, you know all about these. So I'm going to put one of these in here. It's kind of throwing off my color, my color pattern because I was trying to go with the with the pastel colors, and these are so bright, but I mean, you gotta have bubblegum eggs in your basket. So I'll put these in the front. I have to turn this around to see how it really looks. I just want you guys to get the first hand view. And then I have some more Hershey's Easter eggs. And I always, for some reason, um, let's see. Oh, they have green. They have green ones. They have green ones that match the, the bucket. So I'll put these in the front. Uh, I can put some blue ones in the front. But I'll use mostly green because we got to get our color pattern back on track, okay? All right. Just a few more, I guess. You gotta have, you have to make sure you have enough paper confetti because little candies will fall down in the bucket if you don't have enough newspaper holding it up and enough paper confetti. All right, so I also have these. How cute is this? And I probably will just stuff this with these Hershey eggs. Well, no. Here's some goat eggs. I'll just stuff the bunny ears with just more Hershey's eggs. And then pull it. And I like how the ears flap out like that. Let me turn this around to see, see what you guys see. Gotta straighten out this Easter bag, I mean this Easter coloring book. All right, there we go, there we go. That's 
I have to straighten that out. So I need some more paper confetti. I, I like, I want my, this carrot here to stick up more, um, to sit up more. It was like too far down at first. Okay, what else? What else do I have up here, guys? I don't know why I set this table up like this because now I'm looking over like, where's my Easter stuff? And then I have the Russell Stover chocolate that I'll put right here. And of course, the plastic Easter eggs, of course. And they are down there on the floor. I forgot to bring them up here. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll be back. All right. I'm back. Had to get some Easter eggs. And these are like really glittery. Like they're kind of hard to open too. And I'll put some chocolate eggs in here. Oh my God, glitter, when I close the glitter set, psh, you guys can't see, but, oh gosh, it's glitter everywhere. Okay. I don't know why these glitter ones are so hard to open. Oh, and I have um, the, the, gosh, can't reach it. These are kind of an uh, Easter classic, I guess. I would say. You gotta get these too. All right, and so also I'll put crayons in here because there is a coloring book. Yeah, so also I'll put um, a box of crayons in here, of course, because there's a coloring book. And just very, I thought I had more Easter like accessories, but it seems like I have more, I, ha I bought more candy than, than actual Easter accessories. And then I'll put another gold egg, or actually I'll put a blue egg right here. And then just some more knickknack stuff. But here you go, guys. Yeah, I bought more chocolate and gum and stuff. I can put another lollipop thingy in here. Okay, then I'll put the, I'll find somewhere to put the, the crayons, but to sum it up, okay, Easter basket, it's pretty much done. And then I'll wrap it in gift wrap. If they want it wrapped, some people like it, you know, like their baskets to be left out without the, um, the gift basket wrap. So. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, so I'll add crayons and then I'll add another Easter egg in here. And then just various knickknacks like other candies or whatever. Um, but yeah, there you have it, guys. Subscribe, like, comment, do whatever you do. Make your presence be known. Thank you. Okay, I'm trying to get to 600 subscribers. Okay, blissfulbundleskipshop.com. Thank you.